Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Soul Calibur games I found for Java. Soul Calibur War Roots Extreme is a linear action adventure. I haven't played much of it because it's in Mandarin and I don't know the language. And unless you know Chinese, I don't recommend you to play the game either. Because there are points where you need to make decisions. And since you can't follow the story, if you don't know the language, you might even press the wrong button and get restarted at the beginning of the game, like I did. Gameplay wise, from what I've played, the combat feels good, you get 4 special attacks, the graphics are really good, you get a good variety of enemies, and I think that the boss battles that the game's description praises look like this. So yeah, in conclusion, try the game only if you know Chinese. Otherwise, you will have a really hard time playing this game. Oh, and I've also played the lower version of this game. That one is overly simplified. You roam from one sandbox area to the other and beat up enemies. The game can get dull after a while, but still, the combat is way more satisfying as in, than in the bigger version. And even for Java standards, the combat feels incredible. Too bad that you don't get that many moves in the game. Soul Calibur Mobile is in my opinion a flawless port of a fighting game on Java. And what I mean by that is that you can clearly see and feel that the game tries to imitate the console experience. But unfortunately, Java phones can't imitate the experience. Thus you get a fighter that has limited moves, that doesn't feel as snappy or as fast as consoles usually are and overall you can see the effort and the game is fun if you don't have a handheld by you and if you don't compare the game to a console. For Java standards this game is amazing but for normal fighting game standards don't expect much from the game. You get 8 characters and each character has multiple outfits. The game has 4 battle arenas. It's surprising that you get multiple stories for the characters in the game and you also get the usual arcade mode and survival. The interactive backgrounds are stunning for a Java game and as I said, the game is a masterpiece for Java. Just don't compare the game to a console experience because it feels like a simplified version of that. Soul Calibur 2 is an adventure game. But unfortunately, unless you know Chinese, you can't enjoy the game. You won't understand the story, and what is worse, you will get stuck because you don't know where you have to go or what you have to do. Gameplay wise, the game has this sort of free roam, where you can travel from one spot to the other, talk to people, buy items, and then when you enter a zone with enemies, you get a gameplay like this. And here I have to say that the randomly generated enemy encounters get annoying like in most RPG games. You can't travel a section without constantly fighting randomly generated enemies. But fortunately the combat is fun, hits feel satisfying, you can slice enemies or you can use two special abilities. Overall from what I've played the game is incredible, the gameplay is top notch, the graphics are top notch. But since I have problems with the language barrier, as I don't know Chinese, I haven't gotten far in the game. Tales of Soul Calibur is boring. You travel to three worlds and beat up randomly generated enemy encounters. The combat is lousy and revolves around button mashing. You get two options, but option one is the go-to option which makes the whole combat just mashing the same attack button as fast as possible because you are fed up by how many encounters there are. The locations are different, but they get dull after so many enemy encounters. I don't recommend it again. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.